Hi there, Robin here from Expert On. Today we are going to be talking about this unit from Pilot. It's a new model that they've come out with. Two speakers, mixer, everything built into an easy to carry system. Offering Bluetooth, MP3, has all the great features on it. even has phantom power if you need it. This is going to be something that you haven't seen yet on a consumer product. So we've got a consumer price on a product that was only commercially available before. So we used to see it from companies like JBL, which still have it. Uh, but the price point is going to be maybe one third as much as a JBL. So today we're going to take a listen to the 600 watts that they advertise, find out how loud it actually is and how easy it is to actually work. And then we'll see if it's right for you. So next it's going to be an overview of unpacking it. Then we're going to do a sound test and then we're going to find out if it's right for you. Look at this, look at this. All ready on the table, magically just like that out of the box. So what do we have here? We've got two speakers, our entire system in the middle, one handle to pick it all up. Whole unit weighs about 34 pounds, pretty straightforward. There are buttons on top that I'm going to push and get the speaker to let go. Now we're gonna start with this side to show you how easy it can be. Yes. I did try this before and the manufacturer does not know that they were sending me this for a demo to try out and do a video with and this has been my problem this it's caught on the screw this is now the third time that I've run into this problem and I've tried fixing it so I'm going to put it on the floor while still filming yes and there we go so by putting it on the floor, I can't do it on the table. I push down on this and I pull and I separate the two and it all comes apart, no problem. Just in case Pyle wants to know, the first unit we got is having issues. Now, I've always tried it, so I do know this particular one works, so we're okay there. And I'm not bad mouthing it, it's gonna happen and it's up to Pyle to fix that. But I promise you, I'm keeping it in the video. What do we have? We've got two speakers. Straightforward on the back side, this side here, we've got our entire mixing board and the built-in power inside of here. These are passive speakers. On the back side, we've got a compartment that I can pull open and whoa, look at that. We have a power cord, one speaker cable, I'd recommend getting longer ones or add longer and a second one for both speakers. Now if I'm setting up at a baseball game or anything like that or I'm setting up you know on the side of a football field or soccer, uh, it's not going to be a bad system. I, I don't see that being an issue here. So I, you know I don't need very long. I just need a table or you know something else I did notice. These guys have speaker stand options so you can do that with it. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to hook this up down on the side here in the showroom and take a listen to it but we do have one two three four mic input channels that can be switched between mic and line inputs and they even bothered they say it on the box that it has phantom power yes it does right there we also have a five band graphic equalizer so we can adjust the sound on it even has echo and delay pile loves putting that stuff on when they can i mean it's definitely not a bad thing I mean, I really wouldn't be using this for a karaoke system, but who says you can't? It's all there, all the important bits and bobs. Up here, we've got our whole display. Now we know we're gonna get Bluetooth. Now they do claim it's Bluetooth version 4.0, what basically means is extended range, extended quality, uh, broader sound, less compression. Everything good about making something better with Bluetooth is part of version 4.0. That's what's built in here. None of the other systems that I've seen, only two consumer products so far have version 4.0. 99.9% .9 of everything else I've seen has version 2.1. So it's dramatic that they've gone ahead and done that. So taking a step forward for sure, for sure. So, all right. Well, let's not uh, talk much more about this because I don't think there's a whole heck of a lot more to say. So we're going to play it now and see what it sounds like. Okay, here we are. We've got it all set up. I've got my phone in my hand. It's paired off via Bluetooth, but I wanted to talk about the how to use this system. Notice how I am behind the speakers, not in front of them. 
Now, if I have this really spread apart, maybe I can walk around in front of it, but I definitely want to get some distance between me and the speaker if I'm in front. Now, behind, I can have myself set up on a little table. I can have the speakers to the left and to the right. I can announce everything I want right from here. No worries that everybody in the room is going to hear me. Now, that's the most important part. Talk first and music second. And what I mean by that is that I'm buying this primarily because I need to get my voice out there. Maybe it's for a bingo hall. Maybe it's for a church basement. Maybe it's for a community center. Maybe it's for anything you can possibly think of. A little league game. You got to call those shots. There you go. That's what it's all about. That's what it's really for. Now, if I spend $1,000 on a JBL, am I going to get better? Absolutely, I'm going to get better. But it's $1,000 and this is not. So, saying that, this is an incredible value. This is a great deal. Not everybody needs to buy a $1,000 system. Now, at the same time, if you do need something to do a whole football field, you need a $1,000 system. If you need something to do a large crowd of 150, 250 cheering fans, you need a JBL system. But if not, like I said, you're doing the Little Leagues games, you've got 40 people in the stands, you just want to make it exciting, this is the way to go. Now, we'll play a little music, and this is why I say music is the second half. And here we are, we'll just start turning it up. All done via Bluetooth. Just like that, no worries, we'll turn it up a little bit more and we'll uh, play off from that. So is this the right system for you? That's the big question. Now, if you're looking for a system like I was talking about earlier that you can bring around with you and be really, really portable, awesome. That is what it's all about. That's what I really like about this system. Easy to carry about. Now. This isn't what a DJ is going to use to make a party or do anything like that. That's not what we're really, you know, talking about here. It's a consumer product. So a consumer product is, well, you probably, if you're at home watching this and you want something for a backyard, for your rec room, uh, like I said earlier, uh, take out to small venues. If you're going to use it at a bingo hall, a church basement, uh, anything, a legion hall, all that kind of stuff where it's for, you know, 20, 30, 40 people, maybe 50 people attentively listening. Uh, you have to go out and do uh, shows or sales seminars. Really, really nice. Just remember, there's no battery, so you got to be able to plug it in wherever you go. Outdoors, baseball games, stuff like that. Again, really fun. I, I call it like that superhero system. You're the one who showed up with the awesome system. This is what it's for. Play music on it. Now remember, music isn't the primary. It is 8-inch system. They say it's a 600-watt system. 200 watts it's loud it's loud it's fun it's not heavy bass again eight inches let's remember that eight inches not going to give us a ton of bass but it's going to be really fun to use uh it's going to it's loud that is for sure loud it is and again straightforward tons of inputs so if you got to plug a lot of stuff in this is great now remember on this video we featured piles PDWM uh, 13, 13 or 12, 13 or 12. Yeah, that's their 13 UH wireless microphone. We'll put the link down below for it. It's really nice. Comes as a two piece set. They both run off batteries. Triple A in here, double A in here. Sounds like a government job to me. But multi-signal, 32 channels in this microphone. So really, really smart. Easy again to work with. Downfall is, quarter inch jack, three pin jack, and not compatible. So, we did use an adapter. You can get a quarter inch cable that will fit into here, and it becomes a three pin at this end, and now we've got no problems. Uh, so that was real fun, real easy. Again, has bass and treble, effects controls, all that kind of stuff was all built right into the front of the unit, making it very simple to use. Uh, buttons that were led up on top here, channel one, two, three, four, uh, gave me the options to be in a mic mode or a line mode simply by pushing it. Now remember, three pin XLRs across those four channels. Also, we have uh, bass and treble control, effects level control, and our 
gain volume control for that particular channel. All of that's located on each unit. Then at the far end we had our master volume and our MP3 volume which was all built up here. Again, another button can be found between channel, uh, this is, if I'm not mistaken, they're saying channel six and seven, maybe five and six. I'm not 100% sure because the button's kind of stuck right in the middle. But channel five and six are quarter inch. Channel seven and eight are uh, RCAs. Now, this is why I knew this was gonna be a little wacky. There's only one gain control for all four of these options. So that's basically telling me channel five and six, seven and eight are the same inputs. So this isn't an eight channel, it's really six because I can't control the RCA separate from the quarter inch. But don't worry about it. I'm not too, it's a consumer product. That's not a big deal. What I do like though, is there are RCA jacks on it. Again, if I'm at home, I'm probably only gonna have an auxiliary cable to come out of my phone or my computer. And at the other end, I'm gonna have RCA cables. Bam, it's gonna plug right into there. I don't need to buy any more adapters. There you go. You wanna plug this into a bigger system, RCA line out into any stereo system you have. You get all the features of this with these speakers, plus the ability to plug it into your home stereo, a bigger PA system when you go out, do all of that. On top again, MP3 player, Bluetooth, all of that built in, has its own DSP settings, so you have different sound settings. Uh, if you uh, play around with the knob, you're gonna get into things like digital volume control, uh, different sound mode settings. Then you get into, I don't even wanna understand this one. It's a, they have a subwoofer control crossover. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming if that's there, then they're saying that these outputs can be crossover at a different frequency. Again, not sure what they're going on about there, but it's there, that's for sure. Uh, and then if we keep going on, then we've got bass and trouble controls again in the digital display. It is redundant because it is all down here as well, uh, but allows us to control the music separately uh, from the actual whole system and adjust it even more uh, on top of everything we've already done. So. Again, Pile's just trying to throw everything at you, including the kitchen sink with this unit. They give you a phantom power. So if you're using a condenser microphone, don't know why, but it's got phantom power there. So, I mean, you'd have to have a lot longer speaker cables and this would have to be hooked up in a very fancy way. But I mean, the option is there. Uh, maybe you are using a tabletop microphone that doesn't run off batteries. We'll cover that in another video, but I mean, maybe that's what you're doing with it. Anyways, I think I've talked enough about this unit. It comes with a good warranty check. Pile gives a good, but you got to send it back in for service. It's not one of these things that just get hands it off to you. Um, outside of that, it packs up really good. Uh, make sure when you get yours, the clips work. If not, tighten the screws down on the top here. But that should fix the problem for you. Um, but that's about it. Like I said, as a consumer product, I really like it. I think it's a great piece. I think the price is the most important thing. Uh, it's you know it's meant to fill a niche in the market that's not there right now. When it comes to other companies doing the same product, I think we're going to see a lot of other companies do this. Gemini has a similar one too, but doesn't sandwich all together like this. I like that idea. I like being able to just put it all together, and it works out really well. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, I'll try and get back to you as quickly as I can. If you haven't subscribed yet, Palm Tree right here. There you go. Also, if you're looking for links for this or any other items that we had in today's video, you'll find that all down at the bottom inside the description. So we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.